Actually, you know what? Maybe part two. Maybe another video on this one. Here, I think Retro's asleep, but I can tell you guys really quick um, what the process was like. Just us will be and uh, like what working with the team kind of involved with the project. I mean, I think, I hope I can. Uh, if I get in trouble for this, uh, Hi, Andy. Hi, Blizzard. Uh, anybody that's seeing this, uh, my bad. I didn't know that if I wasn't supposed to talk about the process, uh, my bad. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, now that we got that out of the way. Um, okay, so I think we need to get this in video format and its own separate one because a lot of people kind of are missing it. Um, a lot of people, 95%, oh, I would say, of the people that are upset with the experimental patch are people that want regular balance patches, um, competitive ones. And honestly, we're all on the same side. I don't disagree. What I argue, though, is you shouldn't shut down fun ones like this because you also want a competitive patch. We should have both. We're on the same side. But... It's kind of disingenuous to take away content we're getting. Uh, we haven't had any for weeks, months, maybe even years at this point, depending on who you ask. Um, because, well, quote, it wasn't what you wanted. <clears throat> getting socks for Christmas when you wanted something else isn't a bad thing. Socks are actually kind of nice to have because then you don't have to go out and buy them. Just saying. Anyways, uh, working with the team was actually a lot of fun. Um... I realized what it's like to be a dev very quickly, and it's kind of ass. Uh, well, we'll start from the beginning. So I got approached back in September um, by Blizz, and they were like, hey, we want to make this fun um, April Fools-like experimental patch where we come up with like crazy over-the-top changes. That'll be fun for players to try out. We'll have a tournament with it. Um, it'll be streamed, stuff like that, or they won't stream it, like, we'll stream it and stuff, but they'll promote it, or etc. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool, I'd love to do that. Um, I did say that I wish that we could do a competitive patch, um, but that wasn't what this was for. So, uh, at least I said something for those who, uh, are very angry that it's not that patch. I gave it my best shot. Anyways. Uh, my task was to uh, come up with ideas and stuff with my community, but obviously not tell them to not ruin the surprise. So if you didn't watch my video two months ago, or a month and a half ago, let me go see. Back on November 1st, um, this was like when we were like actually supposed to like finish, like not finish, like uh, start actually like working with them firsthand. And this is when we, they told us to like start talking with our communities about it so basically i had to ask chat youtube etc for their own ideas without telling them what it's for you know people yelled at me like but ryan tub double fire tricks already in overwatch 2 or that change would be terrible like listen dude it was supposed to be over the top and fun so man i will say and this is why i'm actually kind of starting to become a more pro proponent for this is there should totally be a way to be able to suggest changes um, to the team or etc. with a small group from the outside. Because when it's a, a room of a thousand people yelling, as opposed to a room of five people talking, it is way fucking worse. Because you just have absolute degenerates just screaming shit from the back. And if you don't listen to their idea, they get very, very angry. And so everybody has ideas... And I think there's a quote somewhere of everyone on the internet likes to share their opinion. The problem, though, is if somebody suggests Reinhardt should fly and someone else goes, what are you, a fucking idiot? The first guy might have been joking. He might have been serious. You don't know because you can't tell because there's no tone in their random chat message. They didn't put any tone in. It's hard to tell. That starts an argument or it gets shut down. They get upset. They get pissed, whatever it might be. I will say, which by the way, if you go through this video, I think there's bits from uh, Andy from, from the Blizz team, um, from the Overwatch team, basically laughing at me because uh, I was dealing with so many people yelling at me that day. Um, 
about their wanting their own specific changes uh, or ideas to be heard. That echo chamber can get loud. So honestly, that gave me big respect for for how tough um, it actually is to listen to the community for for changes um, when everybody in the room is yelling. That's why I think if you were going to listen to changes, I one think that it's smart to balance games from the top down because if at the top level they're good heroes, but at the bottom level they're hard to play because they take skill. You can work towards bettering your skill on that hero to then be better at it to then climb. Like that, you should be rewarded for being better, as opposed to playing a hero that's broken, that is amazing at the high level and good at the low level, just because you pick the hero you win. Like that's stupid. Um, I'm looking at you, Brig. Anyways, regardless though, um, that would actually help uh, have a smaller group of people to listen to and. Maybe that's something that gets considered, or hopefully would get considered, but probably not going to happen until a rush too, because they're busy. I came up with my whole list. Um, they asked us to implement only two to three changes per hero. Um, if you've seen my list, uh, well, how do I say this? My changes were four, five, six eight eight like f fuck knows how many six seven f six nine eight like i i kind of i kind of overdid it a little bit with how many we we're allowed to but i i got passionate about it i enjoyed it i liked having the idea of creating something fun and i thought there was a lot of dynamics and something that i may be looking back maybe shouldn't have done why does it keep pulling me out of that um I shouldn't have done was I actually put in things that I actually think would be good for the game too. Like for example, Ryan three second shatter, uh, 2000 shield and 525 base HP slash armor or by adding 25 armor. And so people looked at it and goes, that's an amazing competitive patch, but it's paired with other bullshit. Again, though, it was supposed to be fun and over the top, but I also agree with you. I want competitive changes as well. And so I think having a mix of them isn't terribly the worst idea because, I mean, not saying nothing on this is, is planned to go live at all, but the D.Va patch was the D.Va mech thing was so fun during April Fool's that they ended up putting it in the game, toned it down, but it's still in the game and it still gets value and it's kind of crazy. Um, so my hope, realistically, in the back of my mind uh, and maybe this is a bad thing. Maybe it's not what I should have had. Um, is hope that if people played, for example, this version of Ryan, they'd have a lot of fun with the slam and being able to one-tap people with a shatter, but would also understand that playing with the current buffs that I gave them wouldn't break the game. And it's not biased. It's literally, I understand the game at a very high level, and especially this hero, better than most. Um, with an exception of probably like three, four, five people um, that are vocal, and maybe some other pro players as well. I, I wanted to be able to balance both, and so that's what I was kind of going for with, with the submitting of changes. So, when I brought the changes forward, I had to, to trim them down, of course, because I think I had somewhere in the range of like a 20-page document um, full of changes for for all the tanks. You can't have all of them, you know. And there's some things that didn't make it. For example, um, I wanted to have Baby Diva have to hold a button, like you know, hold micro missiles or crouch or something. And after three seconds, she would phone home and reset, so you couldn't get staggered as Baby Diva. Because getting staggered as Baby Diva is not fun. You have to walk all the way to the edge of the map, jump off, or like you're getting frozen, slapped, whatever. It's annoying. Um, and I kind of wanted to cut that out because even though it's a strategy, at the same time as a Diva player, it's probably not fun. Um, I know Emong hates it, so that was kind of like my thinking behind it. But some stuff didn't make it, um, and that's okay. I think there was nothing wrong with that. We got the ch changes to the team um, before Thanksgiving, and they got to work. And they, you know, they told us like certain things that were happening with it. Certain things maybe are possible, not possible, like the, the Rissa hat. Um, the Arissa hat was almost, was a kind of a struggle and they didn't know if they're going to be able to do it, but they, God damn it, we got the Arissa Santa hat. Um, 
as well as why Orissa has uh, one health and 399 armor. Uh, it's apparently it's an engine thing where you, a hero can't have just armor and needs to have at least one health point, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, so that's why Orissa has 399 armor and, and one health point. Um, and that was a lot of co cool stuff to learn. But overall, though, throughout this process, I learned that team works so hard. So something, you know, most people, and, and in myself in the past also have had this kind of opinion. It's like, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing over there? There has to be someone there. There has to be something going on back there, like understaffed or something. Because I will say when we submitted the second round of changes, you know, to fix the bugs and stuff like that, they were up to like two in the morning talking with us. Like, you know, when I was talking about the Winston one and Ryan like was being a little bit buggy and then Samju handed in his homework late with fucking 30 new changes they were up to like two in the morning talking about implementing them. Um, so there's no way that, in my opinion, they're actually just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, and that's from a first hand account. So overall, little faiths are restored, but that doesn't solve the problems we all have. Uh, we all have problems with competitive balance right now, how often we're getting it, and I hope that changes, I hope that they don't give up on the, on the live game and and keep this current trend of not giving patches, because they absolutely can. Um, and maybe it's something that we can do better, is, is be able to submit them past just the, you know, the fun, experimental, April fools -y type patch. But to reiterate, this entire patch was meant to be like April Fool's, it was meant to be over the top, it was supposed to be a fun tournament just like back in april and that was the goal and the tournament hasn't happened yet but i would i believe that we succeeded in the goal as many most i would say 90 percent of people that i have heard like people are vocal say they're very happy um and have had fun playing the game now you have places like reddit or or forums that were upset but Logistically, most people who are very happy with a game change don't go to the forums and complain. You're going to have mostly people that are upset go to forums. That's same thing with like going to Yelp. Most Yelp reviews are typically negative because there's no reason to go leave a positive one if you had a good experience. It's not something you think of 90% of the time. So, what have I learned? Being a dev is hard. Two... I do think that they should work with uh, with creators and pro players more often. Um, I think that we could honestly really help each other in balancing the game. I mean, even that mercy change kind of feels great. Um, keeps it from being a pocket bot, and also like, you know, it's it's rough around the edges, but it could be, it could definitely be ironed out a little bit. Um, come, you know, whether they want to do it in Overwatch One or Overwatch Two, but like, it kind of keeps the hero fun and active and, and, and takes away that element that people think it's a quote-unquote brain dead hero which it's definitely not um but it, it raises that skill ceiling even higher so overall i had a fun experience i'm really glad that i got this opportunity um hopefully this sheds some light into the thought process and the process behind working with the team on it um because i know a lot of people were very curious on how that worked um but yeah, it, it, I hopefully we get to do more of these. I hope the the negative, the small minority of negative loud reactions don't drown out the the mass positive reactions um, and keep us from doing it again. Because I think one of the worst things that could possibly happen is the community uh, not getting more content and more patches as we are in limbo for Overwatch 2 instead of sitting there and drowning and dying we actually get to you know have a little life raft and stay afloat as we all wait for that to come um because the only way we're gonna make it is if we have a little light ra life raft to wait we all sit in the cold dark murky water we're probably fucking dead <laughs>